In this video I'm going to show you how to prepare the kernel and flash it into NAND memory and how to prepare file system and flash it into the memory. In the first step we will prepare the kernel. Go to this directory. Clean all the old files. Load the default configuration for the hardware. And uh, compile the image. Now the kernel has been compiled and uh, we just copy the image to our TFTP server. Don't forget to do this. Now we are going to flash the image into NAND. This command will download the image and flash it. I place all the commands into one line. Make it easier and faster. I go to my board, I reboot it into your boot. and run the commands. As you can see it now downloads the U image, erase the NAND and flash it to the NAND. Kernel is ready and now we have to prepare the file system and go to this section which describes how to prepare file system. I will not use the original SDK target file system because it's very quiet, it's very large. I will use a VoIPAC file system. Go to this directory, download the VoIPAC file system. unpack the file system now we need to edit this one file and uh, here we will comment this one line and set the console output on the proper serial port. In my case it is zero. Uh, by default and standard on EZSDK it should be O2. But I use custom board. Save and close. This will create the binary, what we need. Go back to our instructions and uh, use following commands to flash the file system into NAND. Okay, it's been flashed. Now we need to set up the environmental variables to run from to start the image and file system from the flash. Okay, now we can reboot our board.
and as you can see it reads the kernel and file system from end and it's running the image and file system the file system is a little bit different is the original you will see the logging prompt is different okay that's it